Thank you so much for purchasing a reading. I look forward to reading for you today. I do want to let you know that these cards have been shuffled prior to the video. Just that way you don't have to watch all the shuffling part of it. But I'll pull your cards as we're ready to start the reading. Also, I wanted to let you know that with the camera that I'm using, if it zooms in on any of the cards, I'll pull a clarifying tarot card for you. If it does not zoom on any of the cards, don't worry. There will still be three bonus cards at the end uh, for your reading. So what I'll do first is pull the first five cards, and then once we're done with those, we'll clear the board and pull the second half of the reading so that there can be enough room on the board. So let's go ahead and we will get started. So question number one is, am I on the best path? Am I on the best path? I feel like you have this very hopeful, beautiful energy. I can tell that you really are full of self-love, that you are working on taking care of yourself, which is wonderful. So you're doing an excellent job energetically. I was able to tap into your energy and I just these three came out at the same time so I'm going to do all three of these on this question here because I feel like there's a an important message the way they came out okay so should I ask for help uh, question number four are my spirit guides with me oh, spirit guides with me spirit guides And then the last one we will do, or question number five, we will do tarot insight. What is the insight that you would like to share? Okay. All right, so let's get started. Question number one is, am I on the best path? And that is showing up as yes, affirmative. You are on the right path. <laughs> That's cool. You are on the right path. It is the right time. The universe has your back. So I feel like there are some choices that you're making as far as your, your path goes. Um, I feel like you are, you know that this is the right thing for you to do. And you've kind of started at the path. I do actually need you to take a big deep breath though, because I kind of feel you holding your breath. <sighs> kind of let go of some of the tension that you're holding in your stomach area. everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. You're not going to see, see or hear anything that is going to be scary. Don't worry. <laughs> We're on this together. There you go. All right. So <clears throat> I, I definitely sense that you have a path in front of you and you're really excited about it. You know, when we're on our life's path where we're on the best path for us. We're not you know, worried, oh, maybe I should be doing this. Maybe I should be doing that. You're, you're just enjoying yourself and you're happy. And a little bit, I kind of feel that you are happy and that's kind of scary because you feel like, oh wait, this seems too easy or this seems like it should be harder. Why am I enjoying this so much? So then question number two, should I share my path? Now this is like, should I tell people about my path? Should I tell people about my dream? Should I keep it to myself? So on that one, we have yes, absolutely. When something is absolute, there's nothing wrong with charging forward. So you would be able to share your path with other people, kind of talk about your vision and tell them how you feel or why you got started on it. And moving forward, it would be okay for you to tell just anybody that wanted to talk about it. I wouldn't spend a lot of time telling a whole bunch of people, you know, because sometimes other people's opinions can kind of alter what we do on our paths. But it's not something that the cards are recommending that you keep like as a secret. So question number three is, should I ask for help? Now, all three of these cards came up as no. So I feel like this is very important for you because they all came up and they all were visible as no. So I'm going to pull a clarity card on that one while it's zoomed in because I never want to forget them. But we won't read it yet. Okay. So I really feel strongly. Let's read each one of these. So... Time to bow out. Others in this situation don't know it's time to move on. Good thing you're paying attention. Card number two is don't. 
this path is not the path for you. Don't settle in life. You are worthy of great things. Now, when it's referring to path on this card, it's referring to the path of asking for help or involving other people. And the third one was not possible. It's out of your hands. The universe says this goes against your life's purpose and goals. So it you are supposed to be the only one who works on this path or who works on this project. There's part of me that really senses that you have kind of thought of something uh, like almost a spiritual idea or possibly even like business or thing that you want to do. And the cards are very strongly saying, don't say, hey, can you loan me some money? Or, hey, can you make this um, manual for me? Or can you, you know, you're not going to be asking other people for help. You're going to be doing all of the pieces on this path. It's not impossible. I have two businesses and I do every piece. So I just started asking other people for help. So, I'm, and that's been five years, seven years actually, my sister reminded me the other day. So it is quite possible for you to be on this path by yourself. So don't get scared because when you are asked or told to be on the path by yourself or to not be working with other people, the wonderful part about that is all of the rewards are yours. It's like being the only person who's planting a garden. All of the produce is yours and then you can share that with other people if you like, but you're really not gonna need other people's help. But sometimes we feel like we need other people's help, so the cards just really, really want you to know you don't need anyone else's help. Now you can still talk to people, but I would talk to people more along the lines of like, guess what I just accomplished? Guess what I just did? Tell people about your path once you're done with the activity. Because if you're asking people for help, they can alter it. But if you're just telling them what's going on, there is no alteration of what's been happening. You have the insight that you need. So then let's find out, uh, are my spirit guides with me on this path? Yes, obviously. If you're paying attention at all, you'll know the answer is yes. So sometimes my cards are sassy. I really sense that you do know that this is the path for you. You do know that these things are coming to you. Now, I feel like the reason you're a little bit trepidatious is because the whole thing isn't laid out in front of you. And so it feels like, oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? As you walk down a dark path, if you are holding a flashlight, if you are holding that light within, only a small portion of the path gets lit as you go. So let's say you're driving your car at night and you have your um, headlights on and the path and you say to yourself, oh, well, these lights don't shine all the way to my destination, so I probably shouldn't get in the car. Well, that's kind of the same concept as this. You would get in your car, obviously, because you would know that only a small portion is lit up for you as you go. So then the clarity that came up with that is showing as the reverse princess of swords. So first of all, though, I want to show you this picture. Look at how it looks like she's holding a flashlight. That is incredible, isn't it? So yeah, interesting. So the energy of the reverse princess of swords, which is also known as the page of swords, is about some like legal issues or it can often have to do with tax issues. So there may be things that you need to learn if you are looking at starting a business or if you are looking at starting something new, learn the legalities of what you're doing. So for instance, for me, I read tarot and I found that in some states it's illegal for me to tell people, oh yes, you're going to have a baby. So there may be small things that you need to know about the legalities of your path or what you're going to be doing. Make sure you're protecting yourself. Make sure you have any insurances that you need. You're going to want to make sure that you look at the whole picture of what you're doing so that you can make sure you don't get legal issues or or tax issues in the future and that's also something that you can do when like when you join a website to advertise whatever you're doing read all the terms of use make sure that you can be on there make sure that they don't take a large portion you know what i'm saying so really you are the only one doing this with you and your spirit guides so they're giving you the understanding or the advice of hey let's read all the fine print as we go along 
All right, so then the tarot insight that's just kind of giving us some more thought process is the reverse five of swords. So the reverse five of swords is about some peace, some, it's about the opportunity to try something different and knowing that you can be in a state of peace because you're doing the right thing. The more you can settle into the idea that you're doing the right thing, that you're on the right path, the best path, the more that you can get in that state of saying, it is the right time. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. There are some things that are a little bit scary, but ultimately, you know exactly. You, you almost see the whole idea. You don't have every single piece in it, but you see the whole idea. And I really sense that the other part of this, because we have two swords that came out. You know, swords are about truthful words. Swords are about reason. They're about things moving quickly. You don't see anybody like slowly trying to use a sword. You see things moving, you know, they're moving quickly. So there's, there's a part of your path that's going to move you quickly and you have to be ready for it. You have to be on the move. You have to know that this is what you want because swords move fast. All right, so let's go ahead and we will do the second half. So we have, what is my passion? What is the passion that we're talking about? Okay. I dropped that one. <clears throat> then we have question number seven. Am I on the right path? Sometimes the best path and the right path can be different. So I want to see if we're on the right path. Okay. Then we have more tarot insight. I like those opportunities to get a card that's just like, oh yeah, I didn't, you know what, that is a, another thought. These ones are a little bit harder to shuffle. Let's see if I'm okay. Okay. So we have tarot insight, what signs have been sent, and then we also have what is blocking me. Those three came up together and we needed three, so they felt like a set. Okay. So the next question is, what is my passion? So this is showing as the reverse nine of swords, which is very interesting. Once again, we have another card that is swords. So the reverse nine of swords is about healing. It's about relief and recovery. I definitely sense that you are going to be helping other people on your path. And that's one of the reasons why you're not supposed to be asking other people for help because you're supposed to be able to show the people, oh, look, I did this by myself because you will be able to do it by yourself. So then number seven, am I on the right path is showing as yes. Joy, making each moment joyful will ensure a wonderful adventure regardless of the path taken or the outcome. I love when these cards match up. So basically your whole goal in life should be to find that joy. What is making you joyful about this path? I feel that you really enjoy helping other people. I feel that this is something that all of a sudden kind of made sense to you. It wasn't like a thing you've wanted to be since you were like a little kid, but it is something that all of a sudden you were like, whoa, I'm really good at this. And it's kind of building because your spirit guides are helping you with that. So then number eight is tarot insight is showing up as, wow, the reverse six of swords. So we have another swords in your reading. So the reverse six of swords is about the inability to move forward because of being stuck. So I feel that in this situation, there are some things that you feel that you don't have the capabilities of doing. That's where like needing other people's help, why that was so important. Because in some ways, waiting on other people to kind of jump in on your path and do what you know you're supposed to do will slow you down. Because you're waiting on this person to, you know, put gas in their car and that person needs to do, you know, et cetera, et cetera. While you're waiting for those people, you could just be going on your path. 
So I really feel as well that reason and logic are incredibly important to this situation. That you'd be very logical as you're looking at this. There's not a lot of emotions involved, which is something that can also be missing. I feel that you need to not only have some logic, but also have that balance because that is one of the big things about being a human being is finding balance. And I sense that as you're moving forward in this, you're going to want to make sure you add some cups to the situation as well or some emotions to the situation as well. All right, so then Tarot Insight is showing, whoa, cups. <laughs> you put those cups in really fast. So it's showing us the reverse Eight of Cups. So the reverse Eight of Cups is about fully learning from the past. So I feel like your path kind of came into your life because of experiences that you've had in the past. So for instance, like I got my degree in psychology because there were things about my childhood that I was like, uh, how did that happen? Why did that happen? So I feel like there's some pieces of your path, which I think is cool too, because she's basically like looking down the path, looking down, getting ready to go down the path. So you're kind of, once you're able to let go and learn from the past fully, you're definitely going to see that path unfold in front of you. And it's really interesting because like the cups are lining the way on the path to the horizon. So maybe they're, do I definitely feel that those cups being added in, having that compassionate element of helping people as well as the logical part is going to really move this forward quickly for you. So then I messed up. Tarot insight. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. What signs have been sent is the cups have been sent. And then the next one is what is blocking me? And this one is showing as the princess of pentacles reversed. And the princess of pentacles reversed is about, which is also the page of pentacles reversed, is about bad advice. So I really feel that that's going back to those, you know, don't ask for help from other people because they're giving you advice and insight based on their own experiences, but your path and how you help other people is supposed to be based on your experiences. So you're gonna come up with a completely different path because of the fact that you're the only one who's lived your path. No one was born the moment you were born. Even if you had a twin, there were minutes between. Even if you were a conjoined twin, they both have different experiences. It's phenomenal to see the existence of someone who's connected to someone else that still has a different experience. So it's just proof that no one will have your experience. And it's through that experience that you're able to help other people in the way that you want to help them. So let's go ahead and we will look at your bonus cards. So for your bonus cards, these are energy bonus cards. And what I'm going to uh, advise or show you is what to focus on, what to let go of, and what to journal about. So we have, let's pull these out. This one flew right in here. What to focus on. what to let go of, and what to journal about. And then that middle card will pull a clarifier card. Okay. All right. Okay. So then your first one is focus on this and the focus is happy family. I really do feel that this has something to do with almost like a counseling aspect or, you know, you're going to be advising people because you actually healed a lot from some experiences. And I feel that you know what a happy family looks like. You know what it should look like and you're able to show other people that information. So then card two is focus on this, or excuse me, let go of this, which is the door to value. So I feel like some of what you're going to be doing, it's like, I don't know if it's going to be as prosperous as I would want it to be, or I don't know if it's going to make as much money as 
another thing that I'm good at or capable of. So the insight on that is showing as the judgment card. So the judgment card is coming in. Let me go ahead and pull that card. The judgment card is about clarity. It's about a final decision and it's about your purpose. So it's not really the money part of it that's going to be beneficial to you. It's going to be the joy that you feel from completing your life's purpose. So then this third one is journal about this, and that is caring connections, which is really interesting because it, it fits with this as well. So journal about it. Why are you wanting to do this? What is this that makes you so in touch with what's going on? And how will it be that clarity or that final decision? And then on the um, happy family, the clarity is pulling up as the princess of wands. So the energy of the princess of wands is it's a new idea it's a new project so there's going to be also some new things coming in with what your idea already was and that's where journaling is going to be so beneficial because it's going to give you a whole nother thing to kind of piggyback on what you're already doing as well as catapulting forward what you have been doing all right, well, thank you so much for letting me read for you, and I look forward to reading for you again.